Hi there, my name is John Silver and I'm a professional artist and today I'll be showing you how I paint a German short-haired pointer dog using oils and using the Alla Prima method which means all in one go. So it should be a quite quick painting. So let's get cracking. Right, these are the paints I'm going to be using today. They are traditional oil paints you can see here. These are the yeah, standard oil paints uh, using ultramarine, burnt umber, burnt sienna, cadmium red, cadmium yellow and yellow ochre. Now the whites I'm going to be using are uh, titanium white alkyd, that's Winsor & Newton, and Michael Harding warm white lead white alternative. This is an excellent paint but it does tend to dry a little slowly. So you'll find that by adding a bit of the uh, alkyd white to the uh, warm white it will dry much much quicker. I'm also using a little bit of liquid and uh, liquid impasto. Now this is to retain the brush strokes uh, within the paint but I also add a little bit of uh, gesso de Bologna, which is basically gesso powder, or a little bit of uh, marble dust, white fine ground marble dust. Add these to the paints and it will give it a little bit more body. It's an old master's technique that they used to use many, many hundreds of years ago, and it does work. So those are the paints. <clears throat> now the brushes we use are uh, I'm going to be using a, a mixture of bristle brushes, uh, a, a blender, here's a blender, smaller brushes, worn out brushes, cheap children's brushes. Now the, these things are wonderful, I use these all the time. They're very, very cheap. If they make the correct mark on the paper, on the canvas, that's all that is required. It doesn't matter, you don't have to spend a fortune on brushes. So, those are the brushes. Let's get on with the painting. Okay, here we are with the canvas. It's, uh, I've drawn it out onto the board. It's just ready for painting. So we'll start by doing the background. Do the background first, then you can lay the painting over the top. It's quick and easy. So we're just going to get some burnt umber, liquid. Now, this is quite a dark dog, so what I'm going to do is uh, put, some, put the background in a bit wishy-washy. Bit dark here, dark where we have lighter areas so that they show up. You see, the light area of the dog would show up more against the darker background. So, where there's light showing on the dog, I tend to put a little bit of a darker background. Then, by adding a little bit more uh, liquid impasto and liquid fluid medium. You can just start to scrub this in because we're going to do we're going to uh, blend this out in a minute but just so as we get a, a roughly even tone throughout like that and then what I'm going to do is just use a little bit more of the burnt umber paint and darken it up a little bit towards the bottom so we've got a gradation uh, of the paint so that it's not a flat tone but it's going to be going from dark to light if you see what I mean. Now what we'll do is we'll get the blender brush and we'll just slowly blend this out so it goes a little bit flatter you don't see the brush strokes so much doesn't matter if the brush strokes do show, really. It just makes it look more like a painterly painting. But I like to get a little bit of a smooth gradation going. A smooth transition between the dark and the light. And uh, I find a blender brush is great for doing this. So we've got something like that. There we go. Blended. Always uh, clean my brushes as soon as I've finished using them with a blender brush anyway. I always clean these because they need to retain their soft shape. Now with a small bristle brush, uh, what's this, number one, I'm going to mix a little bit of the uh, burnt umber 
that I already have on the palette there with ultramarine blue, which will create a dark tone. I'm just going to knock in some of these darker areas now, just to give me some idea as to where things are. Now, disregarding the background for a minute, you should always put in the dark areas first. It gives you something to work to. A little bit of his as an ear coming down there. So these, these dark areas are in, are in this blackish tone, but they will be changing colour slightly. So what I'm going to do now is work to go back to that burnt umber brush, and with a little bit of the dark tone mixed in with the burnt umber, lay in some of these darker areas. We can be quite rough and ready at this juncture. Now I need to lay in a, a rough tone in a minute of the overall colour of the dog. So what I'm going to do is uh, just clean that brush for a second. It doesn't have to be perfectly clean as so long as most of the colour is off it. And I'm going to mix some of that burnt umber with some burnt sienna. Now when I go over the lighter areas with this, you can see it's got a slightly different tone to it. So I'm just going to go over all this. And we have a light area up at the top there, that's going to show light. See it slowly taking shape. We'll go back to a little bit more of the dark stuff here. Now we need some dark in here. It gets quite dark in there, so we'll need to get some more of that blacker paint in there. Now, I was mentioning earlier about adding the gesso powder to the paint to make it, give it more body so you can retain the brush strokes. I wouldn't do that during the darker areas, doing the darker areas. As the old masters said, dark areas should be thin and the lighter areas should be thick. That's how they used to paint. Thick for light, thin for dark. So, what we next need to do is get some uh, lighter areas now. So a little bit of the white mixed with some of that burnt sienna. And we're going to add a little bit of orange to this as well using the red, cadmium red and the cadmium yellow. So we can just get a little bit of a, a hint of a, a lighter area coming in here. It's just lift bits, that's all you need. Now we need to get that a little bit lighter now. You find that the colour of this dog tends to be, yeah, the, the highlights do tend to be quite blue, so we're just going to add a touch of ultramarine to that. So we've got ultramarine and raw sienna. coat on this which are lots of little flecks of white. And just 
start to put in a few of the tones. So while we have that colour, we'll just go and do a bit more here, a bit brighter. And we'll add this area, which is a lighter tone around the muzzle. Come out roughly there. 